Hi, in this video, I'm going to be talking about functional cortical anatomy. And we're going to be having a look at the brain from the lateral surface. So first of all, I'll draw up the brain. So I'm going to use Brodmann areas to describe the functional anatomy of the brain. Now, Brodmann was a neuroanatomist, and he split the brain up into various functional parts. And he gave each part a number. And we still sometimes use these numbers to refer to certain parts of the brain today. So I'll number the Brodmann areas, and I'll also give their function. Now, I won't give all the Brodmann areas, but I'll give the ones that I think are important to know. So first of all, I'll label Brodmann areas 1, 2, and 3. And this is in the post-central gyrus. And this is the primary somatosensory cortex. So this is where the inputs of all your touch from your body come into the brain. They're labelled in this order, 3, 1, 2, by convention. Brodmann area 4, in the precentral gyrus, is the primary motor cortex. So this is a primary control centre for movements of the body. Brodmann areas 5 and 7 in the superior parietal lobule make up the somatosensory association cortex. Now, Brodmann area 8 is in the superior frontal gyrus and it controls the frontal eye fields, which basically allow smooth movement of the eyes. Now, Brodmann areas 9 and 46, which are part of the superior frontal gyrus and the middle frontal gyrus, make up the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex. And this is involved in motor planning. Now, Brodmann area 10 at the front is the anterior prefrontal cortex. And this is involved in a higher cognition. Up the back here, we have Brobin areas 17, 18, and 19. And these are in the occipital lobe. 17 is the primary visual cortex. So this is where we get input from the eyes. We often call this V1. Then 18 and 19 a V2 and V3, respectively. They're more association cortices for the visual system. Now over here, 41 and 42 and 22 lie in the temporal lobe, in the superior temporal gyrus. 41 and 42 are the primary and association auditory complex. And Wernicke's area, which is Brodmann number 22, is a very important part of the brain for understanding language. Now up here we have 40 and 39. 40 is important in language perception, and that's part of the supramarginal gyrus. 39 is important for language, maths, and cognition, and that's part of the angular gyrus. Now down here, in the pars triangularis, is Broca's area, and this is another area we hear a lot about, and it's involved in the formation of language. And that's an overview 
of the functional cortical anatomy from the lateral surface. In the next video, we'll have a look at the gross cortical anatomy of the medial surface of the hemisphere. For more free tutorials and the PDF for this tutorial, visit www.handwrittentutorials.com.